Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this SH Figure Arts uh, Scarlet Witch figure, and it is from the Infinity War by um, Figure Arts. And uh, there's the box, and on the back of the box it shows a couple of pictures. So let's get into it. Alright, before I take it out, I just want to show you guys what this figure comes with. Uh, it comes with quite a few things. Uh, some effect pieces, uh, a bunch of hands, the figure, and then it comes with two faces. One's looking straight and one's looking to the side, and then another hair piece right there. So, yeah, quite a lot of stuff actually. Well, good amount. Uh, no base though, even though she's a um, flying figure, flying character, but no base. Alright, so hair construction it's a lot like Thor uh, from um, Endgame. Uh, she too has a separate hair piece uh, for you to slip onto the neck post and then you slip on the head so it gives uh, this character a little more range of motion uh, for the neck for the head to move a little bit further up if if, uh, if you so choose to. Alright since I'm at it might as well show you guys articulation first. The uh, head is on a ball joint and the base of the neck there's also another ball joint there. Ball and shoulders uh, so they go up about that much, and uh, a little bit of a swivel here, and then single jointed elbows. But it does give you a little, uh, give you rotation left and right as well. And then uh, ball hinge wrist, tiny tiny ball hinge wrist. And then uh, as far as the chest, there is a ball joint right there. And then as for the waist, also another ball joint. You can see the um, the the, um, the abdominal section. It is separate from the pants section, so it allows you to give her a little more range of motion. And as for the legs, they are on ball joints. And uh, yeah, and uh, it can rotate a little bit left and right, and you go up about ninety degrees. Look at that. And the knees, about that much. And then ball hinge uh, ankles. And then is there toes articulation? Yes, they did add toes articulation as well. So you go with that. Boop. So good range of motion for a figure like this. So you could give her some flight poses. Something to that effect. To that effect. So something like that. Oh, and then to put the head back on, all you have to do throw that piece under the back and pop the head back on. Hopefully this is in focus. And there you go. Popped. There you go. And uh, if you want her to look up only a little bit and then uh, these strands of hair kind of sticking out so it's kind of weird and um, uh, so the reason why I'm reviewing this for, um, Scarlet Witch right now is because initially I wasn't planning on getting her at all because um, I didn't feel like I need to complete the whole Avengers line because um, there are quite a few figures and, um, and they aren't complete currently uh, but then I saw online that um, there's a third party head sculpt coming out with uh, rooted hair, so I really like that head sculpt. Uh, so I figure I might as well get the Scholar Witch now. So when that head sculpt comes out, then I'll be able to switch it onto this body, which will make Scholar Witch much, much nicer. Alright, so as far as the effect piece, uh, it's, it's kind of ugly. Um, Here's what it looks like. It looks like a flower that she has on her hand instead of uh, some sort of uh, some sort of smoke or something. But uh, it looks really weird. It's very strange looking. I don't think I'll, I'll leave him. I'll leave her like that. And um, it pegs onto her hand, kind of like Iron Man with the effect piece. So you can see there's a peg hole, and then there's a little peg. On the end of this uh, piece here, but uh, it's like a little piece of flower, which is kind of ugly. So 
that's something I probably will not use and uh, instead I'll give her the same on the side right here yeah, so I'll switch it out but uh, yeah likeness I think they did a really good job with the likeness I think they did a really good job with this one but the rooted hair one is gonna be even better and if you want to switch the other face all you have to do is remove the front hairpiece right there and then remove the face right there and then you put the new face back on her like so and then I'll put the other hairpiece on her like so so here's the other hairpiece and uh, I guess it's more for what is this piece for looking for head turning or something doesn't look right I like that then I guess I'm not sure why they gave us this hair piece I guess it is for that but uh, yeah kind of like that I don't know looks oddly strange here maybe like that but now it's flying up so it has to be on this side and so I guess yeah well whatever I could switch the the face back to the other one so it might look a little bit better maybe but you get the gist of it and um, yeah put that piece back on so there is Scarlet Witch ooh from the back looks pretty nice actually the hairstyle zoom out a little bit All right, so here's a comparison. We have SHF Fat Thor right there, Scarlet Witch in the middle. She stands about 575, 5.75 inches. And then Cap on the right is Marvel Legends. So yeah, there you have it. Scarlet Witch. And most likely I will make another video once I have that uh, third party head sculpt. Mm, that's gonna be a while though. So there you go. There's Scarlet Witch from uh, SH Figure Arts. Thanks for watching.